Hi everybody, this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch. So I admit it, I'm a Barack Obama fan. I'm putting my hat in the ring for Barack. And this weekend, I was at a Barack Obama event in Kent, Ohio, and it was really cool. One of the things we were talking about at the meeting was RSS feeds. And I mentioned the word RSS, and the room got real quiet. And that was surprising. So there were college kids there and everything like that. I thought people knew about RSS. Well, let me tell you, RSS will change your life. It's changed my life. Here's the thing about RSS. Okay? It just stands for really simple syndication. That's all that those fancy letters mean. But this is what it does to you. You get an RSS reader, and we're going to go over a couple of those, and you get notified whenever something has been updated on a website. It is super, super handy. That way you don't have to keep running back to websites wondering if something's been updated or get an email, worrying if an email's gotten into your spam filter and all that sort of thing. RSS takes care of the whole thing. So we're going to look at RSS here real quick. Now, we're going to look at three things. First of all, we are going to take a look at Internet Explorer 7, IE7. If you've downloaded this, this is the easiest way to get involved in RSS, okay? There are two areas, two main areas at the Barack Obama website that have RSS feeds. The blog area and the events area down over here in mybarackobama.com, okay? Now, how do you know if there's an RSS feed? Well, on most of the sections, you're at the very bottom of a blog at Barack Obama. There's this little button right here, XML. Okay. Now, all you have to know is in Internet Explorer 7, when you push that button, a page comes up and it says, you are viewing a feed that contains frequently updated content. And then... Down here it says subscribe to this feed. And you see how this little button here matches this little button here? You just press this. This window pops up here. It asks you where you want to create it. In feeds or you can create a new folder. And you click subscribe. And that is that. So now in Internet Explorer 7 you can you've seen maybe this star over here this is your favorite center this is view favorites feeds and history you click it and here is this feed okay Akron Ohio for Obama and I can click it and I can get all the news for the Akron Ohio group okay this is for every blog at BarackObama.com when you go into a group over here and perhaps you've signed up for some groups already every group has a blog okay this is the Cleveland NE Ohio for Obama here view blog you click go to blog okay and here it is. You go down to the very bottom of the page. Here's the XML button. Then it says here you're viewing a feed that contains frequently updated content. Subscribe to this feed. This window pops up. See here, Cleveland, any Ohio for Obama. Click subscribe. And then you go over here to this little star and there it is Cleveland any Ohio for Obama and that's it and then all you have to do after you have viewed all these is you just go to these this little favorite thing and if there's new feeds you can also hit this refresh button here if you want if there's something new that's been updated to the feed you'll see it because this is going to be in bold. All right. So, if you're new to feeds, this is the easiest way to go, especially if you're using Internet Explorer 7. All right. But, we are also, there's two other ways we're going to look at this as well. Okay. Perhaps you use the Google 
personalized home page. Okay, and if you use if you have a Gmail account, I'd recommend doing this because this is really really handy. All you have to do over here on the right hand side of Google, you'll see this button personalized home. You click that, and then you can add all sorts of content in here. Okay, but one of the things you can add over here on the right it says add stuff you click that okay and then up here you can search for content incidentally but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding a URL okay and then it says here enter the URL for a gadget or a feed that you want to add to your home page and what we're gonna do now I'm in Internet Explorer I'm in, I'm in Firefox over here okay now I'm going to go to the main community blog, go down to the very bottom of the page. I'm going to click on this, on the XML. Now in Firefox it looks different, okay, than in, ID, in Internet Explorer 7. But all you have to do here is you highlight this, right click, copy, then go back to your Google page here, add by URL, and you right click here and paste, and then you click the add button, and it says added, and now you go back to the home page, and right at the very top is, here it is, Obama HQ, this is the main the main blog here, okay? And you can see when anything has been updated. Now it only gives you three listings here, but still that's good. It's, it'll be helpful. You can see if there's something new, all right? You can do something similar at My Yahoo. If you have a Yahoo account, you can, this is, this is at yahoo.com. You can go to My Yahoo, click this. And then at the top here, you can add content. And then they have a similar button here, add RSS by URL. Click that. And then I'm going to add the same URL that we added there in back in Google. I'm going to add it here to Yahoo. I can click add. And there it is. Okay. And then you can click Add to AT&T Yahoo. You click that. And then it says this source has been added to AT&T Yahoo. And now when you go back to the AT&T Yahoo homepage in My Yahoo, they happen to put it at the bottom of the list. Here it is. But if you don't want it at the bottom of the list, see how my cursor has turned into a four, uh, you know, pointy square thing. You can drag this up. You can move it all the way to the top of the page if you want. You can put, you can put Barack all the way up there. Just drag him and drag him and put him there. Okay, and there it is. And then you can make my Yahoo, my.yahoo.com your homepage and you'll see all of that. The last thing I want to tell you that's really handy is at barackobama.com maybe you've seen find an event. Okay, and here this is my zip code. I can click find an event And look here, here's an XML button. And I can click this, now I'm in Internet Explorer 7 right now. And so this window comes up and it says events from my.barackobama.com. I subscribe to this feed. This window comes up. I subscribe. And now, when I go to my favorite center, events from my.barackobama.com and that'll be in bold every time there's a new event and then I don't have to go I don't have to go back to the site unless there's a brand new event it saves me a ton a ton of time okay I know new technology is hard and, and it takes a while to get used to 
I was very leery of doing RSS, but let me tell you, this has simplified my life, okay? So, go and check this stuff out. If you need any help, you can email me at sage at webmarketingwatch.com. I can help you get these RSS feeds into some sort of reader. There's also, if you really get into this, there's really great advanced readers, bloglines.com. Google has a Google News Reader. Uh, Firefox has a Sage uh, News Reader that you can install as an extension. There's a lot of great free news readers out there. You can you can track a lot of great things. Okay, everybody, I hope you found this useful, and uh, I will be talking to you soon about more exciting stuff. And this is Sage Lewis from Web Marketing Watch, and happy marketing!